I'm doing this from a place of concern. I want to stress that to you so hard. I'm doing this from a place of concern. How much do you want to bet that's not coming from a place of concern? Hi, and welcome back to me talking about whatever I want. Today, I want to talk about Lauren Petrie, more commonly known as Treacle Tats. Or more specifically, I want to call her out. This is just a good old fashioned call out post because what she did was bad and she should feel bad. But first, of course, I'd like to do my comment shout out. This comment shout out actually goes to Sushi Agu who says, D'Angelo, I upload every day, one week later. So that was a f lie. Of course, this is a reference to the fact that I've been gone for almost two weeks, but um, I'm back. I seriously needed a break, but at the same time, I am seriously so glad to be back. I actually came back yesterday um, on my main channel, but while I was gone, I could not stop writing down video ideas. I have so many daily videos planned for like the rest of this month, pretty much. And of course, the one I'm most excited for is my next album review. We're going to be talking about After Hours by the weekend. So yeah, thank you so, so much for putting up with my break, but um, Breaks over, time to take out the metaphorical trash. So uh, this Lauren lady who runs the channel Triangle Tats, what she did was so gross, I literally ended my break and came back to YouTube just so I could talk about it. And that's mostly just because I didn't really see anybody else talking about it, but uh, someone needs to stand up. So of course I'm gonna give you a bit of background information. There's uh, two main people we're talking about in this video today. First of which is actually Blake. So Blake goes by Blake Homie Online, is a 15 year old, Instagram model, I guess you could call them. Also, Blake is non-binary. It says in their bio, they, them, so that's just what I'm gonna call them. So, I mean, from a cursory glance, they really just seem to be the average aesthetic alternative Instagram person. They've got the tattoos, they've got the hair, they've got heterochromia, but it's contacts, that's, that's unique. Basically, it's what a lot of kids are doing nowadays. Just take a goth and run them through an internet filter and bam. Blake homie. And I have to emphasize that this person is either 15 or 16. I wasn't able to get to the bottom of it, but they're not older than 16. So Blake also has a YouTube channel where they upload tattoo videos, piercing videos, hair videos. And today's video is going to focus on the tattoo videos. Tattooing myself. Stick and poke tutorial. Stick and poke tutorial part two, I guess. Now, should a 16 year old be going online and telling other people how to tattoo themselves? Um... Leaning towards no. Personally, I think that's an awful idea. But um, I guess that's where the next person comes in. Lauren Petrie. So Lauren is also one of those like alternative Instagram people. She too has the tattoos. She too has the hair. She too looks goth, but drenched in late 2010s internet culture. Honestly, nobody asked, but my opinion on the look is I'm not brave enough to do it. The tattoos, the piercings, my pain tolerance is non-existent. So I'll let y'all do that. So like Blake, Lauren is also entrenched in the tattoo community on YouTube. In fact, you're gonna notice the more I describe this that Lauren is actually like weirdly similar to Blake. I don't know if you're picking that up already, but Lauren's channel is actually 100% dedicated to tattoos. It's called Triacle Tats. And she has masterpieces such as, my subscribers roast my good tattoos. My best friend got a tattoo. All the tattoos I got in 2019. Basically, both of these people really like tattoos, okay? I can dig it. But what I cannot dig is this video that Lauren uploaded. Tattoo etiquette. Blake homie. It's just such a simple title. It absolutely belies the disgusting material that we're going to encounter in this video today. Right off the bat, the thumbnail for this video was extremely concerning to me because it says visibly self-tattooed before graduating school. Mom can't tell they're real. Unsanitary tattooing. Like this reads like a tabloid article. Okay. Blake's not a celebrity. They're just a 15 year old kid, 16 year old kid. I cannot tell people's ages, okay? I don't know if you've gathered that by now. I don't look my age and that spills over into my brain to where I can't tell what age anybody is. Long story short, this thumbnail is looking pretty trashy. So obviously I clicked into it, but I have to say out of the three subtitles she put on the thumbnail, the only valid concern is unsanitary tattooing. I understand wanting to make a video about that, but like, why does it matter if their mom doesn't know the tattoos are real or like if, they self tat. I guess Lauren's gonna explain it to us, right? That's clearly what I need. I'm doing this from a place of concern. I wanna stress that to you so hard. I'm doing this from a place of concern. How much do you wanna bet that's not coming from a place of concern? I don't want any of you being horrible to this person at all. Cause again, they are young, they are a minor. So this is actually a new technique where instead of just saying, hey, 
don't send hate to this person. Lauren uh, says, don't send hate to this person, but then proceeds to do the hating herself. I have to give her points for innovation. Like I have to give her points for originality. Anyway, jokes aside, the video starts off perfectly fine in my opinion. I did this one with like a regular needle, you know, like an embroidery needle base. An embroidery needle, an embroidery needle. A embroidery needle? An embroidery needle. An embroidery needle. An embroidery needle. Okay, we get it. You just learned how to edit. We also get it. Don't use embroidery needles when you're tattooing. I think it's perfectly valid to call that out because, yeah, that's pretty horrifying. I don't think you should be poking yourself with an embroidery needle in an attempt to do DIY tattoos, but that's just. No, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Don't do that. You can get tattoo needles on Amazon for like $7. So please, I beg of you, get tattoo needles. Don't use sewing needles. Um, I'll okay, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Okay, kids, step away from your parents' Amazon account and do not be ordering tattoo needles. Once again, I think Lauren's exactly on the money. I really am 100% for this video so far. She said she's doing it out of a place of concern. She told everybody not to send any hate to Blake. She's calling out specific issues that are wrong with the information Blake is presenting. Literally nothing wrong with this video. In fact, I think it's very important that Lauren made it, so. If only it was that simple. I'm honestly just so concerned about this video because it is a tutorial. Can you imagine how many young people have watched this and then done the exact same thing? Like it's, like all jokes aside, it is honestly very concerning. I feel like that's kind of our job as YouTubers is to just go on the website and call out things when they're not necessarily right and nobody's speaking up about them. So unfortunately now it's my turn to do that about this video. The fact that they're tattooing on a carpet my freaking carpet is giving me pure fear. You know, repeating things doesn't make it funnier. Then again, Lily Singh has gotten very far in her comedic career, so maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, these are all things that I'm sure Blake didn't know, or at least should have conveyed. Even I didn't know that you shouldn't be touching people on carpet, though it does make sense. But this is the part of the video where it takes a turn, and instead of offering perfectly valid and necessary tattoo do's and don'ts and correcting misinformation, Lauren starts attacking not just Blake, but Blake's family. It's it's like really, really, really weird. I was honestly genuinely curious about this. I was curious to see what they had to say when it comes to like their family and stuff with all their tattoos and piercings, because I know for a fact that, oh, if I looked like that, <laughs> oh, my mum would have freaking kicked me off the planet. But the thing is like, you do look like that. And that's really confusing that you find the issue with it. Now, obviously I do understand that she's saying if she looked like it when she was Blake's age, that would have been a little different. But again, that's such like a boomer mentality where it's like, well, my mom would have never let me do this. Yeah, that's probably why you have 30,000 tattoos on you now because your mom didn't let you do so much as put a sticker on when you were like 12. You know, I think it's weird that she was so concerned about Blake's family in the first place because like, what does that have to do with anything? But I mean, that just borders on kind of weird territory, like things I wouldn't necessarily say, but I guess I can understand why Lauren's saying them. Then she just veers into absolutely unacceptable territory. I don't know why I did it. I don't remember doing it. I don't care. Like it's honestly like this whole thing concerns me so much because it's like, okay, but why can't you remember? Like, you're so young. Do you see what I'm saying here? Like, I'm scared that there's something else going on here. Like, you know, like with substances maybe? I don't know, I don't wanna assume or anything like that. Yep, that's right. Full grown adult just went on the internet and accused a teenager of being on drugs. You know, you can't do that. You just can't do that. I don't really have to explain why you can't do that, but I can only assume Lauren doesn't understand why you can't do that. First of all, if you don't know, then you can't say. Accusations as strong as substance abuse could ruin someone's life. Issues like that aren't dealt with by talking about it on the internet. They're not dealt with by public speculation and people wondering about it and prying. Issues like substance abuse are dealt with privately by people within that person's life. And the fact that we're having this conversation about substance abuse at all is weird because that's not something that Blake ever mentioned. So to put that on them is beyond unacceptable. Really, for me as an adult to have to sit here and say to another adult, hey, you don't accuse people of being on drugs is 
ludicrous. Especially since I'm assuming that this Lauren person is older than me. But yeah, they say, uh, don't do drugs, kids. Here's a new one. Don't accuse kids of doing drugs? Anyway, if that's not bad enough, which it absolutely is, uh, Lauren then goes on to judge Blake's mom. My mom just came in here and she was like, you need to wash all those tattoos off. Stop putting them on yourself. Cause she still thinks they're fake. Like I'm honestly so concerned that they are living under the roof with someone that cannot figure out that all of those tattoos are real or fake. This is like borderline stupidity. Okay, so first you're gonna go online and accuse somebody of substance abuse and then you're going to imply that their parents are stupid. You know, even if at the very least Blake's mom was like in this video, I could sort of bring myself to understand, but she's not in the video with Blake. You can't talk about people that you have never seen. And the bottom line is you never know what's going on in somebody's home. You don't know why Blake's mom hasn't done anything to stop them from getting tattoos. You don't know if Blake's mom has tried. You don't know if their dad has tried. You don't know anything like you really just don't the only thing you know is good tattoo practice you don't know anything about blake's life so all these speculations about you know ooh substance abuse and their family life who are you like are you literally a tabloid magazine because if so i'll treat you with like the same respect i would treat the sun <laughs> nothing you have no integrity you're not worth listening to you're not worth looking at you're not worth paying attention to they're of an age where like they're just living their best teen years they're having fun, they're with their friends, going out, experimenting with style and what have you. And to make such a bold movement of having very visible hand tattoos at such a young age, I don't know. You have very visible hand to, oh my God, where do I go from here? She even mentions that she herself has hand tattoos. So it's like, how are you not picking up the irony? In fact, this whole latter portion of the video is her just projecting she's projecting like her life depends on it she's all like blake's just living their best teen life having fun i couldn't help but pick up a twinge of jealousy i mean clearly this lauren person isn't a teenager anymore me neither it happens to all of us but this whole conversation is counterproductive because obviously blake has the tattoos on their hands they're not going anywhere they're there. So to kind of sit around and make it about the fact that Blake has the tattoos versus what you were doing initially, which was making it about safe practices, is just weird and makes you sound like a lot of things. And I just have this image of them just in their like mid, tw mid to late twenties of being like, holy crap, what did I do? Okay, at this point, you can basically tell she's just talking about herself, but like, substituting blake <laughs> it's a little eerie like uh i think you're in your mid to late 20s and you're the probably the one thinking holy crap what did you do i guess i'll just say what i said about blake you have the tattoos they're there now um talking about some random kid on the internet it's not going to do anything about it like i've been in that place i've been in blake's place i've spent thousands literally thousands of pounds on cover-ups. Yep, it, it's projection time. Strapping kids, we're, she's projecting a movie, her whole life story apparently. You know, the fact that you had to spend thousands of dollars of your own money to undo thousands of dollars of your own money's worth of work is on you? Like, is it Blake's fault that you look like a coloring book and you regretted it? I don't think so. And you know, I was wondering what it was that I was picking up in this video that was bothering me so much. I was like, is it jealousy? No. Is it condescension? No, not really. Now it's just all too obvious that I'm rewatching it. It's bitterness. <laughs> Look how we started off talking about safe tattoo practices and now fast forward and Blake is kind of being blamed by proxy for Lauren's uh, awful tattoo decisions. The lack of emotional intelligence here is just, it's not doing it for me. You may think this is a good thing now and you may think you're like the coolest person, but I can, I can, I literally guarantee you when you hit your 20s, you're gonna be like, what did I do? Okay, if she mentions <laughs> being in your 20s one more time. And again, like by the time they're in their mid 20s, you're looking at like 10 years down the line. So in 10 years time, 
So things may have changed and hopefully for them, it does. Oh my gosh, we get it. You're in your mid to late twenties. And when you say hopefully things work out, did you mean they didn't work out for you? Because that's that's the only thing I'm picking up from this video. Like truly, what is being gained from this? Maybe they'll watch this and be like, oh my God, this girl, like, why are you so judgmental? Like, let me live my life. But I've been there. Like I was saying, I've spent thousands of pounds on cover-ups of tattoos that weren't done very well. I don't think anybody's gonna be like, oh my gosh, why is this girl so judgmental? I think we're gonna be like, oh my gosh, why is this grown woman accusing a teenager of substance abuse, speculating on her family members and her home life, projecting her own regrettable life choices onto this child, and then trying to mask it all as sympathy over bad tattoo practices. Really, it was just an extremely pathetic video to upload and I'm sad that I watched it. <laughs> um, sad that it has any amount of views at all, but sadly, a lot of people watched it as well. And much like me, they had some things to say about it. And let me just tell you, Lauren's reactions to their reactions were awful. Girl, you just mad a 16 year old that does stick and pokes got more subscribers than you. Honestly, it's kind of a mood. I think Blake has more subscribers than me as well. <laughs> Anyway, to this tree of replies. Yeah, that's totally it. Not the illegal, unsafe tattooing at all. Rolling eyes emoji. So I guess the story that Lauren is sticking with here is that the video was just a place of concern over unsafe tattooing methods. You know, think of the kids. Can't believe she really feels like she has to go out there and say something. It's not your body, get over it. People like this ruin the internet by bringing other people down just so they can try to rise up. I'm annoyed. To its tree of replies, it's also other people's bodies they could be ruining. Google image tattoo infection and then what sepsis is. If you think it's fair that someone is showing people how they tattoo and then someone gets them, that's just wrong. You know, for some reason, I just feel like when this person said bringing other people down so that they can try to rise up, they weren't referring to like the first 10 minutes when you were giving advice. They were probably referring to the last 10 minutes where you were just making it about yourself and coming up with all these unnecessary speculations and pretty much blaming uh blake for your own problems so not sure what that has to do with sepsis or tattoo infections but go off i guess honestly this video is very passive okay i'm not reading all of that yeah so i i don't care that much i wish everyone knew that some kids come from a broken family when she said things like what planet is her family from bro their mom doesn't even notice their existence sometimes just as blake needs to be educated on tats the person making this video should be educated on life dang even though this person does bring up a good point which i kind of already addressed which is you don't know why things are the way that they are. And you can never tell that just from looking at a YouTube video. But uh, to this comment that actually does a good job addressing a core issue with the video, Treacle just responds, I came from a broken family. Then wouldn't you, what does, <sighs> lady, you sound really condescending, dude. You just sound like you're trying to prove that you know more about tattoos than a 15 year old. You aren't their mother. Please back off, this is messed up to be honest. You never know what people are going through. And maybe if you did a little more research, you would know their reasoning. Change your content. Um. Yeah, to which she says, exactly. You never know what people are going through, yet here you are. What does this mean? Is she trying to imply that, I guess because Treacle Tats could hypothetically be going through something, then we're not allowed to criticize their video? Because if that's the case, that means you're not allowed to, I think I'm getting a headache. This last one I'm gonna look at says, if you're really concerned, you would have approached this in a more productive way, which I absolutely agree with. But all Treacle Tats has to say is, what, by tattooing myself and doing everything I'm against? To which this person says, no? Maybe by talking to them privately about your concerns? How obtuse do you have to be to read a comment like, hey, maybe you should have approached this in a more productive way and just go to, what, by tattooing myself? You're telling me to grab an embroidery needle and just jab it into myself? Is that what you want from me? You are acting like a child. Like, she's acting like a child. And here's the thing. She kept saying mid to late 20s over and over. So I thought that Lauren was in her mid to late 20s. No, 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 no. That 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 would have been preferable. According to this birthday video right here, 30 tattoo things I learned in 30 years. Yeah, that's right. Lauren is 30. She's 30. And she's over here doing this to a 16 year old. I am nine years, I'm almost 10 years younger than this lady. Why am I the one looking at the situation and saying, hey, you probably shouldn't do this for this person's well-being. What a mess. But what I was noticing was that 
Lauren seems incapable of taking criticism. Like, when people just accused her of having no good reason for making the video, it was pretty easy for her to just go and say, well, I care about tattoo infections. But it started to make me wonder, what if somebody didn't allow her to make that excuse but criticized her anyway? Would she actually be able to respond? So I found out for myself. What exactly did you accomplish with this video, besides revealing that the 15 year old you're discussing is twice as mature as you'll ever be? The way you're masking toxicity as concern makes my skin crawl. Congrats on 100k, you deserve precisely zero. I just went straight to the point. And so, um, go ahead and guess what Lauren's response to me was. Let's get a little drum roll. Okay, hon. Just delete your channel. Just, just, just delete your channel. I was gonna say delete the video, but just delete your whole channel. Like it's not serving a purpose at this point. All you're doing is embarrassing yourself. Just run away, like run to the hills, start over, start a new life. It's not too late for you. Like if you were really a 30 year old woman just getting snippy with people over the internet because they called you out for um, ah, bullying a kid, yeah, you don't need to be on YouTube. You can't defend yourself because there's nothing to defend. So then the illustrious Lauren couldn't just leave it on YouTube, right? Like you're gonna go start a dumpster fire on YouTube, but then you wanna bring it to other places. But remember, this is coming from a place of concern. So she posts on her Instagram story, uh, a screenshot where it says, and she is canceled. And it says, you guys, I've been canceled. Yay me for trying to stop sepsis and infections. Nobody has canceled you. <laughs> like if anything, you canceled yourself, but at the same time, you're not even getting enough attention for it to qualify as canceling. You wish you were getting canceled, but you're, you're not there yet. She also put it on her Twitter. OMG, yay, my first canceled comment about me. Celebration emoji, celebration emoji, celebration emoji. Look, my, I've made it XOXOXO. The thing about this comment is like, it's, it's four words. Like, it's completely taken out of context. What did this comment actually say? I can't help but guess that the comment itself probably had much more constructive criticism than just the four words and she is canceled, but you couldn't deal with that. So you just took the four words that would make you look the best but the fact that you thought that that would make you look good is really concerning because this just makes you look petty and childish i ran out of camera space i have never gone off on somebody for so long that i just run out of camera space on my phone what was i even saying <laughs> okay i have my notes and we can see it i wrote like notes on top of my notes. That's how much I had to say about this lady. You're misusing your platform. I completely understand wanting to educate somebody on tattoos. And if that's what you were doing, then that's fine. But what you're doing is using the premise of educating people on tattoos as an excuse for you to vent your bitterness onto children. So congrats on that. Masking toxicity as sympathy has to be the most toxic thing I can think of. And honestly, can I just be the first to say that you were too old for this? Like the people 30 and above in my life, I look to them to help me <laughs> and to prevent me from making a fool out of myself. But instead you are the one making the fool out of yourself and dragging just random people into it. Blake is half your age. I am 10 years younger than you. And bottom line, you're a bully. So it would make more sense if the roles were reversed. Like I could totally understand a 16 year old not understanding the repercussions of speculating on someone's substance abuse or making remarks about their family members when it's unrelated. But like you're 30, I think, I think I'm going to name this video. You're 30 because that's the only thing I can really take away from this situation. She's 30. That's, that's all I've got. Bullying kids on the internet. You know, if you see something, say something. So I said something and everyone knows what kind of person you are. But I think more than that, she knows. Lauren already knows what kind of person she is. So ultimately, who cares?